this is how to sow brassicas. Brassicas are basically cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kohlrabi, kale and Brussels sprouts. And although they're all different plants, they're all in the same family and you sow them all in the same way. Now, brassicas are cool weather plants basically and they traditionally do better over winter. That's one because the weather's cooler and they just perform better in cooler weather and also it's because there's a lot less pests around to contend with because caterpillars absolutely love eating brassicas as do pigeons. You can grow brassicas over summer for harvesting in autumn but if you're going to do that try and find specific varieties that are designed to withstand some of the heat. If you're growing over summer as well, you're going to want to protect your brassicas from those pests that we talked about before. So that's gonna be netting them in some sort of structure. If you're growing over summer for an autumn harvest, you're going to be sowing in early spring. And if you're growing over winter for a harvest in early spring, then you want to be planting in late summer. Now you've got two ways that you can approach sowing your brassica seed. One, you can use the pricking out method. Now that is where you densely sow a load of seed in a pot and once it gets to about this size, you start separating it out and you can sow them into individual module sections. Now, if you want to understand the pricking out method a little bit better, we have a video dedicated to how you do that. Alternatively, you can take a module tray and take the time to sow that with a couple of seeds at a time. And that's what we're gonna do now. So take your module tray filled with compost Give it a pat to make sure you get rid of any air pockets that are in there. And then you want to make a depression in each module. So no deeper than the first knuckle of your finger. And then into each of those depressions, you want to aim to get roughly two seeds. It's just in case one of them doesn't germinate. By adding two seeds, you give yourself twice the chance of making sure you've got a plant in every single hole. Once you've done that, just sprinkle a little bit more compost over the top to fill the holes and cover the seeds up. Now if you're sowing these in late summer for growing over winter then there should be more than enough heat when you put it out in the greenhouse for these to germinate. But if you're growing very early in spring you might find that you just need a little bit of extra protection. Possibly you might want to do it inside the house just until they germinate. But Brassicas are very happy, once they've germinated, to grow on in cooler conditions. And in fact, they're generally happier that way. So once your seedlings germinate, you may well find that both of the seeds you originally sowed have germinated. So you've got more than one seedling in a lot of the holes in your module tray. Now, all you're then gonna do is take out the weaker seedlings so that you're left with one good, strong seedling in each hole to grow on. And then once your plants get to about 20 centimeters high or so, and you've got a good, strong baby plant, that's when you're gonna to look to plant them out. They're relatively frost hardy, so as long as the plant is looking strong and healthy, it should be able to withstand some light frost if you plant it out early in the season. If you get a very heavy frost, you may want to consider a little bit of protection on those plants, like a cloche or a little bit of fleece. And when you're planting brassicas, remember that brassicas have the ability to grow extra roots out of their stem. And that's a plant that's gonna get very heavy on top when you're talking about a big cabbage or a big cauliflower or something like that. So it's a good idea to plant them fairly deep. Plant them so you're planting the whole of the stem that's visible below the bottom leaf. So there are so many amazing brassicas to try and they are an absolutely delicious crop, and fantastic for the kitchen. So check out our range of seeds on shegrowsveg.com for inspiration of different things to try.